Tuesday morning. It is Tuesday, April 3rd. Um, and today is my official first day on Weight Watchers Freestyle. Yes, it's finally happening. Um, yesterday I went on to my iTrack Bites app and I noticed things looked a little bit different. So I took the time, I was like, let me check if they updated and um, have Freestyle available. And indeed they do. So for anyone out there who's looking for a um, more, what's the word? I don't want to use cheap. But let's just be real, a cheaper way of doing freestyle, <laughs> um, download the iTrack Bytes app. I believe it's a one-time purchase of $4.99. But if you want to do freestyle, it is 99 cents a month. It's kind of annoying that now they're charging you a monthly service, but 99 cents is really, really not that bad compared to, I believe, the $20 that Weight Watchers will charge you. So we got freestyle available, people. Um, I've been a little skeptical about trying it just because having all these zero points foods available to me makes me nervous that I'll just eat them like crazy because just because something is zero points doesn't mean it's zero calories. I don't know if you guys watched Diva and the Divine, but she kind of made a whole video about that. But anywho, 23 points on freestyle. Let me show you what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and snack today. Okay, so for breakfast this morning, I made myself a little egg mug, even though I didn't have a mug available. But this is a third cup of egg substitute and one whole egg for zero points now that I am on freestyle. Even though when I add an egg into my um, iTrack Bytes tracker, it's still counting it as two points. Annoying, update your uh, app, guys. And then I'm also gonna have two of these uh, Morning Star Farms Veggie Breakfast Original Sausage Patties. These are super good, I've been having these um, for the last few days. Each one is a point, so I'm gonna have two of them, so breakfast is two points. Um, for snack, I got an apple, an apple, wow, guys, a banana and two cuties. Uh, for lunch, I'm going to have this Thai-style chopped salad. Um, obviously, all the lettuce and whatnot is zero. There is edamame, which is also zero, but there's also little peanuts and wontons. I'll have to look and see how many points that is. Instead of using the dressing it comes with, I'm going to use this Kraft um, Light. Asian toasted sesame uh, dressing for two points. Two tablespoons is two points, so I have that in here. So maybe the uh, lunch might be few, maybe four points, because I have to count how much the wontons are. Then I have chicken breast in here too. Zero points now, loving it so far. Then I got these at Ross yesterday. It says apricot pear. Um, bars only fruits and veggies now when I scanned it I believe it was four points but I looked at the ingredients and it's literally ingredients pear apple carrot apricot beet so I know that there's a lot of kind of controversy with this but I'm gonna count this as zero because all the ingredients in there are zero so I think it should be fine hopefully they're good <laughs> So yeah, a little kind bar with only fruits and vegetables. No sugar added. Hey guys, so on my way to work. Um, yeah, really excited about freestyle today. I counted that additional stuff in my salad. I kind of looked it up. Um, I'm assuming in there it's approximately a tablespoon of peanuts. But I looked that up and it's three points, so I might just leave the peanuts out. The wontons, however, are one or two points. I have to kind of look and measure out and see how much is in there. So luckily those aren't too many points. So hopefully my lunch will end up being like three points, which would be awesome because I love that salad. Um, and that dressing is a great substitute because I believe using the dressing that it comes with a cup of that salad ends up being like six points, which is not worth it at all granted that was with the peanuts as well so yeah excited about that excited about freestyle um like i said though the only annoying thing is that on my itrack bites app when i enter an egg into like the um pocketbook guy that they have it comes still comes up as two points and i thought one of the best parts of freestyle is that eggs are zero points so I'll let you guys see. I kind of posted something on the community on there and see what people say. But other than that, let's hope for a lovely journey today with iTrack Bites.
Okay, so this is the salad I'm having for lunch. I just put it into this bowl, put the little wontons in there. It's not that many. I ended up counting um, a point for them. Got my chicken breast here for zero, and I brought my own dressing. I'm not using the peanuts, even though I'm going to double check and see how many points that is. And here's the dressing it comes with that I'm not using either because I brought my own. Hey guys, so I am back home from work and I still have 17 points for the day. So far, freestyle, I'm not hating it. Um, I didn't have a lot of snacks today, which was sad, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I do miss like my chips or something like that. I, I'm the kind of person, I just need like a salty snack um, in the middle of the day or sometimes mid-morning. Anywho. Um, yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, so I've been pretty happy with freestyle so far. Um, I don't know what time I'm going to go to the gym today just yet. Uh, I'm just going to wait for Vinny to get home because if he wants to work out here in our gym, I'll do that. If not, I'll go to cycling at 730. And yes, on Tuesdays, I'm not the biggest fan of cycling because the teacher's kind of like meh. And I don't know if you guys do cycling, but like the most important and best part about cycling is the music and you know kind of like the attitude and the energy of the teacher and on Tuesdays she's not that she's not a nice lady because she is but her music sucks and she's just like just not very high energy I don't get as sweaty as I usually do um, with other classes so I'm always like eh, I'm not gonna be mad if I don't miss it and you know if I can just work out here in my own gym, obviously it's much easier. So for dinner tonight, I'm planning on making some shrimp. Um, a girlfriend of mine actually told me about this really awesome service they have at Ralph's, or if you don't live in Southern California or where there's Ralph's, I believe it's Kroger. So if you go to the seafood section, like to the seafood counter, <clears throat> you can pick your fish or whatever, I got shrimp, and they'll package it up for you like this in one of these little things um, just to prep in the oven. So I thought that was pretty cool. I did a rosemary garlic seasoning. So I just popped this in the oven and I'll have some shrimp. And now that shrimp is zero points, this will be zero points even though I do think there's some butter in there, which obviously I'll count, but this will be good with like salad or something. So I'm looking forward to that. Maybe some brown rice since I do have like 17 points left or whatever. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I just looked at this and I really want it, but I don't know how many points it is. Don't tell. Um, yeah, so other than that, so far, good experience on freestyle. I'll show you guys what um, what I do as far as it go comes to working out. Just going to put this giant jug of water on our water cooler and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so looks like I'm gonna be working out here at our gym in the apartment complex. But first things first, I gotta make a cake. Um, I'm gonna make some cake pops for this Saturday. Uh, Vinny's cousin uh, just found out she's having another baby girl, so just as a nice gift, we're just gonna make her some pink little cake pops. And I have had a red velvet cake mix in my uh, pantry for a little while that I wanna use, so I'm gonna make a red velvet cake and try my best not to pick a little piece out of it. Okay, so cake is in the oven. I'm just going to make some brown rice in the rice cooker because it takes forever. Um, and I'm still gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna make some brown rice because for dinner I'm gonna do my shrimp, brown rice, and possibly some I think I have Brussels sprouts or broccoli. I can't remember which one I have. But whichever one I do, I'll roast, and that's what I'll have Okay, to do. so I just put about three-fourths cup, uh, three cup of brown rice in there. So I'm just going to double up the water. Probably put a chicken bouillon cube in there to give it some flavor. And put this to cook. Half of a tablespoon of this caldo de pollo in there. A Mix little bit that. of this onion salt from Trader Joe's. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's like my two favorite things, onions and sodium. <laughs> Just give it a mix. Make 
sure everything's distributed. Close this up, turn it on, and press brown rice. And this will take about an hour or so. So that's why I make sure to do it early, go get my workout in, and then it'll probably be ready by the time I get back. The cake is out of the oven and it smells delightful. Just gonna double check, make sure it's ready. And I really wanna pop this bubble. Let me see. Yep, we are good. So just gonna let this cool so that when I come back, I can go ahead and make the little cake balls. It smells so good, it's so hard to not just take a little piece off the top. I'm getting punished. We are going to the gym. Let's do it. Yay! In our little community here, our little fountain. It's very peaceful. Just did like a run walk on the treadmill for two miles. Now Vinny is on the treadmill. I'm just working out my arms right now. And we're also gonna do a challenge that uh, Julie from Living Large on Lifetime um, sent out. It's the buns, guns, and abs. So I didn't do it on the first or yesterday, but I'm gonna start today. And I think it's 60 squats, seven push-ups, and I forgot how many leg lifts. I'll show you guys. So this is the challenge, April guns, buns, and abs. So we're gonna do Sunday or Monday, but we're gonna do Tuesday. 60 squats, seven push-ups, and 35 leg lifts. Sorry about the sound, it's just Vinny on the treadmill, working it out. So yeah, let's get started. Finished working out at the gym. Both Vinny and I did the challenge, so go us. But I got back, rice is ready. So now I just gotta cook up my shrimp. So I crushed up the cake, put it in a bowl. It's already uh, cooled down, so that's good. Um, I also took just a little taste, and yes, it's very good. Anywho, so time to cook the shrimp. So pretty much what you do is just poke two little holes, and um, you just read the instructions on the back, and it tells you, you know, depending on the weight and what kind of oven you have. So mine is electric. This is about eight ounces, because it's a pound, so I'll cook it for about 12 to 18 minutes. Just gonna put it on a cookie sheet and pop it in the oven. Oh, how hot does it want it to be? <laughs> 380. You got it. So I just put the shrimps on a little cookie sheet, just gonna puncture two holes in there. And wait for the oven to heat up and pop these suckers in. So I actually had um, this asparagus left over from yesterday. Uh, so I just coated it with about a teaspoon of olive oil and some onion salt from Trader Joe's. I've made this before, super good. Just gonna pop it in the old toaster oven at about 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Wait for all that to finish cooking up, just gonna start smashing up this cake. It always makes a little bit of a mess in the beginning, but that's okay. Just gotta crumble it up. I just checked, and a blue moon is six points. Not bad. I may have one. Sounds really refreshing. It's right out now. of the oven, and it's actually looking pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see the steam coming off of there. Very nice. I'm just gonna take the asparagus out and plate everything. Here up. is my dinner. Got um, some shrimp there for zero now with um, freestyle. Half a cup of brown rice for three points and asparagus for zero. I did count an additional point for the butter that's in the shrimp. So all together, this is four just points. To say the shrimp was absolutely delicious. I would definitely buy that again. That was so much shrimp and it was only. Um, well, you can't see on there, but it was six seventy-eight. Um, so I had some. Vinny had a little bit because he's not the biggest fan of shrimp, but I had a whole bunch left over. And I was able to make two meal preps out of it. So um, tomorrow and Thursday, I'll have a half cup of brown rice with my shrimp. Three points. Just got to find a vegetable or something to put in there. Or, I mean, it's not necessary. So, yeah, and then... These leftovers I can use for a snack or to put on a salad. So I'm super excited about that. That's a lot of food. Great flavor for only $6. Woo, Ralph! After all that, I actually have seven points left for the day. 
Um, I remember that I had um, those little Quaker chips, um, the cheddar ones. I had a few of those and 18 of them um, is four points. So I counted that. Whatever the point was, points was, I can't remember if it was four or less, but I counted it. Um, I had a little bit of my red velvet cake, so I counted two points for that. So I have seven points left for the day. And I just checked my actual beer guide and a blue moon is five points. So I'm going to do it. I am loving freestyle so far, you guys. This is awesome. I have beer. I'm okay with that. I'm not always a beer person, but lately I have been, so I'm going to go for it. Clean up the kitchen, have myself a beer, and watch some Goldbergs. It's a Tuesday night guys, morning. I am done for the night. That beer was delicious. Um, it's, what time is it? Like 9? Yeah, it's about 9 o'clock. I'm going to take a shower, wash this dirty hair, and go to bed. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.